had a dream. I had a dream to create the best infrastructure that you can possibly imagine. This started back when I was young. I built a lot of Thomas the Tank Engine tracks all across my room. Yes, they may have gotten my room a little messy, but they really bolstered my interest in transportation. A couple years after that, I started playing a game called SimCity 4, and while I was interested in all aspects of that game, I was most interested in transportation management and was able to calm down a lot of transportation throughout all my cities I've built. All that tradition has continued up to this very day last year where I started Webio Transportation and its first Webio which is a famous New York to Boston high speed rail which is currently almost has 4000 views and is the most viewed Webio of all the Webios. Today is Webio's first birthday. And to do that, I would like to do two things, actually three things. One, look back at what we have done. Two, connect to what Webio will be and actually have a separate project for that that I'll do in this Webio. So no, this is not just a looking back thing. I do have some new stuff to show with you. And three, I have a new website, well not really new website, but I've recently redesigned the website and finally given it a custom domain name. So we will look into all three. So first, where has Webio gone? Webio has drawn 1967 miles of line onto Google Earth representing possible proposals and solutions for American transportation problems. This comes all the way back to the New York to Boston high speed rail which is 203 miles and this includes Boston all the way to DC plus Chicago all the way to Boston and various other high speed rail branches of these two main lines. It also includes interchanges all across the country, local trains, metros, perimeter metros, bridges, Webio covers it all. The channel currently has also just surpassed 20,000 people. That's a lot, especially considering that this channel didn't even exist a year ago. Now, how will we move into the next year? Not next sex century, as they all say, next year. Next year, I'm going to start a major line. Let me start it right here. It'll start at Pittsburgh, Columbus, Cincinnati, Louisville, Nashville, Memphis, Little Rock, Dallas, Austin, San Antonio. That'll come in the form of several webios, but basically this will connect the Northeast with Texas, which is soon going to be America's largest economy, even surpassing New York and California. And this line's not, also not that hard either, as in the Harrisburg to Pittsburgh video, we have crossed the mountains. So how do we connect that? That's where I'm going. In this web view, I do have something new to show you. It is a link from Baltimore to Harrisburg. Now before I get into the details, I'll tell you why I'm doing this. Before this segment, if you are in Boston to Philadelphia, anywhere within this range, you can easily go to Chicago on the high-speed line that I proposed during seasons 2, 1 and 2, and 3 by that matter. However, if you are in Baltimore or Washington DC, you couldn't do that. You had to go all the way to Philadelphia or drive to Harrisburg or drive to Pittsburgh where you could take the train further west. Now I have a proposal to link all my proposals together, showing my talents of last year and combining them into one webio. It is from Baltimore to Harrisburg with regional stops at York and Middletown. The top speed is 300 km per hour, it will be electrified track, dual track, some of this line is unfortunately only one track, but the final one will be two tracks. Um, and that's about it. Oh yeah, also all grade crossings will be removed. 
So let's go. Baltimore starts at Penn Station. It will continue west from the city through Druid Park under in a tunnel, which is around three miles long. I didn't want it to go through the slow existing tracks and I thought a tunnel here would be worth the added cost. This will be run at 250 kilometers per hour or 155 miles per hour. After the tunnel, it will come back on the existing line and take up the northern two tracks of the existing line. The southern two tracks will be reserved for goods trains. Couple miles later, just west of Bancroft Road, the line will go into a tunnel again. This is only 1.5 miles long. After that, just west of Mid Milford Mill Road, it will be above ground on the existing track so far at 250 kilometers per hour. It's also roughly paralleling Route 795. You want a perspective of where this line actually is. So it will continue along the existing track at 250 kilometers per hour until here. This is where the line gets too, just too much curves to allow curve straightening. So I had to make a tunnel under Glinda. After the Glinden Tunnel, this is where my first new set of new tracks is. The new tracks will continue. Now basically with new tracks, I try to not make too much of an elevation change and more importantly, keep as many businesses as possible and try to follow existing tracks as possible. Even though there's only one track here, it's still not going to demolish any businesses as you're still building an existing railway right of way. So it joins the existing track here at 250 kilometers per hour. Now here's a problem. Hampstead is a pretty big problem. The first part where it crosses Hanover Pike, it's not too bad. I may have to demolish some parking lots to get this line to go through. However, the second one's more. I'll actually have to demolish a couple businesses. But I thought, had I not done that, I would have to only do it further north or just make the line go in absurd directions. So I decided this would be the best way. By the way, after Hampstead, the line speed will increase to 300 km per hour. It will continue on the existing track until just south of Miller's, where it will go onto a new track so it avoids a valley that the existing track goes. And through this new segment, it will enter Pennsylvania. Around one mile after entering Pennsylvania, it will rejoin the existing track just for a little and then it will curve to the west just west of Glenville and enter another tunnel. Now this tunnel is mostly for hills. I could have made a direct track here but that would have been too steep for high speed trains to handle. It will go under Broadbecks and exit just west of there and continue at the full line speed of 300 kilometers per hour and eventually also go back to brand new tracks just avoiding any major development it will rejoin the main line or at least close to the main line at Spring Grove now let's stop and see where we are we are between York and Hanover this line west will go to Hanover we are going to York so you'll continue along. This is existing track. Now it'll have to drop to 200 kilometers per hour. York was pretty challenging. What I ended up doing was, there is a station here, by the way. I forgot to mark it, but York does have a station here. What I forgot to realize is that much of this is actually grade crossings. So after exiting West York into Central York, I had to replace the existing line with a viaduct. It may be expensive, but it was the only way to allow speeding trains to pass through this area relatively safely. Just past the river, it'll enter another tunnel just to avoid like adverse curve straightening or speed decreases. Obviously, the other one won't have to do that. If it stops at York, it'll just go on the existing track and meet up with the main line here. Main line will continue at 200 km per hour until it crosses the river again and immediately goes under a tunnel underneath this hill here because I didn't want the line to go all the way like this and slow down drastically. This is the longest tunnel, I think it's 2 miles long. Finally the line will exi exit the tunnel and now go at 250 km per hour and it will eventually parallel the Susquehanna river and cross it 
just south of Falmouth and join the existing track at Falmouth just before a little bit of tunnel again and then it'll eventually go back out to the tunnel parallel to the river and end at Royalton where it connects to the existing Philadelphia to Harrisburg line where trains can go to Harrisburg and beyond. That's it. The main takeaway from that line is a lot of curve straightening, a lot of curve straightening through tunnels and quite a bit of upgrading to do but you need to realize that still 64% of the length of this line is on existing track so that's pretty good and also considering that very little has to be demolished to build this I think it's a win-win situation. There you go this line will connect Washington DC and Baltimore with the rest of the main east-west lines the one that I already have going to Chicago and the other one that I just described that will be going to Texas okay you may think goodbye nope I have more now that more is just a new website around a year ago I've started a website Webio transportation just to show all my videos I started it at the same time I started this channel however just this past week to celebrate Webio's first birthday I created a new website and I think you will like it so here it comes so here I'm going to show you the Webio Transportation website. The address is very simple. It is webiotransportation.com. It used to be something much more complicated and that old URL still works. So if you see the old link somewhere, it'll still work. But I think the new one is much better. Here we go. This is the new website. So basically, welcome to Webio. It'll introduce you to all the stuff that I've done. If you want to watch a Webio, click here. If you want to learn more, click here. I think you probably all know what Webio is, so let's show you what the watch page is like. So what I do with Watch Webio is I have a page with all the seasons, with links to the seasons, and I also provide the most recent Webio right here. When you click on this Webio, it'll start playing it. My last web year was obviously the Cook County Perimeter Metro, so if you want to watch that, feel free. If you want a quicker way to go to the direct web view that you want to watch, click Season 1, 2, or 3 under Watch Web View. I'm going to click on Season 1. So these are all the web views that I made for Season 1, which are in the year 2014. To watch a web view, just click one of them. And there you go, the web view will start playing. This is YouTube embedded in HTML, so it works really well. No black bars for the later web views. However, the black bars do remain for the earlier ones, so just please handle that. I also have a description about the web view below. Now, the main point with this website is... I've tried to minim, like simplify the video viewing experience. I don't want people to be cluttered with all of YouTube's madness. Now some of those web views and other videos for example are good, but I think just watching web views is much more interesting and just more direct when we have a direct website showing the web view plus its description. However, if you, all, if you want to go back to web view on the YouTube channel, just click channel link that'll take you right there and there you go that's how Webio is so you can also learn about me see where I go to school yes I still go to school in fact I took a day off today to record this Webio you can contact me learn about Webio you know what let me just show you that picture too I think I had some nice animations there and that's about it that is webuetransportation.com. Yet, there is more. Let's go to facebook.com slash webuetransportation. Webu now has a page on Facebook, so please check it out. It's pretty simple, as I showed you, and it will show the new link now I've updated it to webuetransportation.org. I have all my latest web views plus some other news on here. So that's about it with that. Thank you for watching this web view. I know it was long, but it's 
Web use first birthday, so it deserves to be a lot of stuff. Thank you and goodbye. I'll come back with another web view next week.